Welcome to the prophetic corner of uh, Joanne McFadder, one of the world's most uh, prolific uh, psalmists for music that glorifies the Lord. That is what is in the background herein. So welcome and love from love, both from hope and peace from our Prince of Peace, our Majesty of Majesties. He alone is our carpenter of the ages, and it's time for the great restoration of Acts 3.21, as predicted, and partially the fruition of such comes from the knowledge of prophetic understandings uh, and prophecy. And so know in this hour that every mystery shall end. And that is very good news because all things shall be revealed uh, to those that care and to those who really want to know. Every mystery shall end as all of love's most glorious glory is exalted. For these are the days when God's greatest glory shall begin covering the earth as waters covering the seas, as grass covering the lands, and as sand covers even the most desolate of deserts. And it'll cover the whole globe for his honor and power and might of his love's everlasting forgiveness that goes before him. And so therefore, evermore shall his love cover his heavens like stars, while his mercy covers his faithful few, all of his children of love, as it covers us like lilies covering the ponds, and uh, even like snow covering the mountain peaks. His love is all around us. And only in these latter days of Daniel 12, it is foretold that the wise can finally begin shining like the sh sh sun uh, by the Lord's word and by our understandings of who we are so that we can let our love transcend beyond us. And for these are the days when the shining of his love is like the brightest smile by his uh, spirit of prophecy that's flowing uh, through his beloved. So again, love from love, hope from hope, and peace from uh, the divine ministry of Joanne McFadder. Uh, and the name of her ministry is Inside Eternity. Uh, and uh, so welcome to the prophetic corner uh, where her word will be examined. Uh, the influence of the Spirit through that writer of God's glory. And for this is the time when the blessing of uh, one of the Lord's very best psalmists of hope, faith, and peace uh, will be sent out into the Word, the message behind the ministry. Uh, because it, in this world, her most passionate invitation is now being extended. That is the song. Uh, there are actually three invitation songs. In total, it's almost an hour long. Uh, it's an hour long song. Uh, and so therefore, it is one of the longest songs that has ever been recorded, bar none, by uh, anyone alive on planet Earth. Uh, Meatloaf made a pretty long song there, and I think at 13 minutes. But uh, this uh, part one alone is 54 minutes, and the part two and the part three, I think there's a part four, uh, they're all like 15 to 20 minutes. It's almost an hour. So uh, as far as I am concerned, the truth is that this artist, Joanne McFadder, she holds the Guinness Book of World Record, if this were to be a category, for the longest song ever created. And for that reason alone, uh, it's time for everyone to have hands in order to receive uh, so that um, we don't have to be destroyed by our lack of knowledge anymore so that we can come up and enter into a new place by the word of Joanne McFadder through the Lord uh, because he has many things to tell all of you. Uh, to, and many things to teach you. 
uh, as, as Christ flows through her word uh, for her ministry. So it's time for the wise to dive in far deeper into her beloved love of always that should also become their most magnificent obsession uh, as the song that uh, Joanne had about 10 years ago, Christ love should be all of our most magnificent obsession. And so please enjoy the word of God that's now being echoed clearly by her, Joanne McFadder's prophetic messages as our Lord's dove of love begins flowing in her melodies, harmony, uh, as she exalts our Prince of Peace's most loving mind of Christ. So get ready, get set, and here we go. Await now, arise, shine, for Christ's kingdom age hopes are now arising as his greatest blessings ever offered unto mankind. So blessed are all those walking in the beautiful faith of love's most peaceful and most serene and tranquil peace. For the utter wind of bliss shall always be at their backs as a great tide of flowing blessings surround us all, taking us all away from the former safety of the shore so we can plunge in and go deep. It's time to go deep because his love has always been unfathomable deeper than deep has ever been. And as our glorious sun of love radiantly shines his most loving warmth upon their face, faces, uh, the faithful few of love who believes that word that God actually loves all of us equally. And so has it always been since the beginning. And as it was in the beginning, so shall it be at the end that people will finally come to that conclusion. Uh, with no more looking through a glass darkly no more. So let all loving souls for our majesty of majesties, uh, uh, it's, let them understand that he has declared that these are the days when we can inherit the golden days of love's greatest glory exactly as his spirit of prophecy has predicted for these latter days in Joel 2.28. For these are the latter days in which uh, he who is beloved, the blessed, and the adored, these are the days when he is finally pouring out his love upon all flesh, uh, partially through messages like this from his spirit uh, of love that flows so well for Joanne. And it came to pass that the spotlighted singer of our beloved love of the ages it came to pass that she realized that it seems that when we think of walking by the Spirit, we think of the supernatural aspect of doing so. Uh, and she says that is especially true in these days that usually becomes the main draw for so many people to uh, gather together, to, to be amazed. Whether, whether it be at conferences or the streets, people are chasing signs and wonders. Uh, they're, they're wanting the miracles for the validity of their, their very faith that stands empty much of the time. And people are, are, are chasing this. And while that uh, such miraculous things are a part of life in the Spirit, Joanne says, it's time that we all move in the same fashion as Jesus Christ uh, while he was here on the earth. That's really just the byproduct, she says, of processing the Spirit of God within us. And concerning miracles such as walking on water, changing water into wine, and passing uh, the ability to pass through a crowd in miraculous ways, just like Isa Yeshua Jesus did, being there one moment, she says, and gone the next. Something like that is amazing, but she stresses that we need to see that the power and healing disease, uh, diseases, things like that, and raising the dead are just a few of the more popular examples that Christ left us when he said that we would do even greater works than these. And uh, however, Emmanuel also warned us, Joanne says, 
that seeking these things would not be to our advantage. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, love, then all things will be added unto you. So she says that we need to be seeking his face and not his hand. Wow. That leaves a lump in my throat. It resonates, and those are the inspired word of God flowing through Joanne. So let us all seek the face of love and not his hand. And let us seek no judgment from him, for he swears not to give us any. He says, I will be your God. You will be my people. I will forgive all your iniquity, and I will never remember it. People, if he remembered it, it would make him into a liar. That should resonate. That should leave a lump in your throat, too. So it's time to seek the giver of the gifts rather than the gifts themselves, Joanne says, but not to the point that we ignore them. Time and time again, Joanne says, we have heard this. Uh, and even though she, she wonders if, uh, if it's ever really gotten through many of our uh, thick skulls, the truest part of the truest message that he would have, that love would send us. Because she says that at best, we mostly seem to vacillate, go back and forth in our awareness uh, in real double-minded and wishy-washy ways. Those are my words. But she says that there is a way to live this life uh, in this end time that does involve uh, all of it, all of it together. It involves opening the depths of the word, uh, and it involves prayer and meditation, communion with him. It involves signs and wonders. It involves extravagant giving and opening the mysteries of God of Revelation 10.7, those are my words, uh, that have been saved, Joanne said, for this dispensation in time, the clarity of our understanding that was foretold for the latter days of Daniel 12. And Joanne says, and it also involves worship that breaks down the barrier, uh, that breaks down the barrier uh, between heaven and earth, angels and people ascending, and descending, and it involves the massive salvation of souls. And then Joanne said that Jesus himself told, told us clearly that even faith as a mustard seed would be enough to say to a mountain, be, be removed, and it would have to obey. Uh, time by the Spirit, uh, the Spirit says that uh, Everything can be summed up by that phrase. Uh, it takes trust in him as love that we, so that we can really move from having just faith in God to be moved to the right place where we move in the most loving faith of God's oneness that we can be one of him. When... Uh, if you're born of a dog, you're a dog. If you're born of uh, a pig, you're a pig. But if we're born of God, we're a God. Jesus said, we are gods. And the oneness of this understanding would bring is utter blessedness and the oneness within love. So blessed are all those seeing that happiness and peace will definitely come to earth only as the brilliant light of love and human compassion begin entering souls of people that are, are needing this. So it's time. And by the Spirit, that Latter-day Psalmist then said uh, that the blessed faith of the Lion and the Lamb's love must be out of a place of revelation of, uh, of, of, who, of who that roaring lion uh, of Zion really is. Who he is within us. And Joanne says that it's all so amazing and uh, stimulating to our spirit man within when we dwell on the possibilities that's laying before us. And uh, of course, uh, Christ Jesus is our supreme example of walking by the spirit, Joanne said, as, as he was fully man and fully God. 
leaving all of us a blueprint, she wrote, uh, for walking uh, life out by, by the Spirit within its fullest expression. So love from love, and listen to part two of this next video.